In this video, we're going to use a quadratic function to model projectile motion. It says a model robot or model rocket is launched directly upward at a speed of 16 meters per second from a height of 2 meters. The function f of t equals negative 4.9 t squared plus 16 t plus 2 models the relationship between the height of the rocket and the time after launch, t in seconds. What is the maximum height in meters the rocket will reach? Round to two decimal places. So in the equation, t is the time, and f of t is the height. They want to know the maximum height. So because they want to know that maximum height, we're looking for this piece here. Well, to get anything that's a maximum, we have to do, we have to find the vertex because we're talking about a parabola here. So the vertex is going to be negative b over 2a, comma, f of negative b over 2a. But the thing I need to pay attention to is this is time in my situation because the x values are time, and this is height. So I actually need to find the f of negative b over 2a part of this. Okay, now that I have that figured out, let's write a equals negative 4.9, b is equal to 16, c is equal to 2. I can find my x value for my vertex by doing negative b over 2a which would be negative 16 over 2 times negative 4.9. So 16, well, negative 16 divided by 2 times negative 4.9 is 1.63 seconds. All right. Now that I have 1.63 seconds, I can use that to figure out the height. So I can say f, I'm using this part right here, right? So negative b over 2a is 1.63. I'm plugging it in now to the function. So f of 1.63 would equal negative 4.9 times 1.63 squared plus 16 times 1.63 plus 2. So 1.63 squared times negative 4.9 plus 16 times 1.63 plus 2 gives me 15, uh, I would get 15.06 uh, meters for the maximum height. Now you have to make sure that you use this 1.63 uh, number because they say round to two decimal places. Use that 1.63 number as you go through and figure out this 15.06. Let's do a second example here. It says a football player kicked the ball from on top of a platform. The flight of a kicked football follows the quadratic function f of x equals negative 0.02x squared plus 2.2x plus 12 where f of x is the vertical distance, so we need that. f of x, this is vertical distance. And feet and x is the horizontal distance. The ball travels. What is the highest point the football will reach in feet? Round to one decimal place. So they want to know the highest point the football will reach. So they're talking about the vertical distance. So we're really looking for this f of x. But anytime we're trying to find the maximum or the highest, we're going to find the vertex, which would be negative b over 2a, comma, f of negative b over 2a. Well, this is my x value, which is horizontal distance. This is my y value, which is vertical distance. So just like the previous problem, I'm looking for the f of negative b over 2a part of this function. So let's start by writing down what our a values are. a is negative 0.02, b is 2.2, and c is 12. So we end up with negative x is equal to negative b over 2a. I plug in my values. I get 
negative 2.2 over 2 times negative 0 0.02. So I got negative 2.2 .2 divided by 2 times negative 0.02, and I get 55. So 55 is my horizontal distance. Okay, I can put that right here. That's my horizontal distance. But I need the vertical distance. So I need to plug that into this f function, f of 55. It's going to equal negative 0.02. 55 squared plus 2.2 .2 times 55 plus 12. So we'll square it. Take it times negative 0.02 and then add it with 2.2 .2 times 55 plus 12. And I get 72.5 feet. So the maximum height the football reaches is 72.5 feet in the air. So anytime they talk max and min, we're talking vertex for quadratics.